Hello. Recently, I've been designing and constructing these hot air balloons. It's been a really interesting project, and I've got them to the point where some of the designs can lift a small FPV camera payload. There's, they're going to get written up in Hackspace magazine, and they're going to be out in issue 61. Um, but there's one little part of the construction that's a little bit tricky, um, and so uh, following these clips, I've added a short video on how to lay out your gore, pa gore panels and how to assemble them so that all your seams align the correct way and you get a nice looking uh, balloon uh, at the end of your build. Okay, so this is just a little short video um, because it's quite difficult with these uh, hot air balloons to work out how to get all your seams for all your panels to be sort of all flowing the same way in the complete thing. So, at the moment, we've cut out all our tissue paper is under here, underneath the pattern, and I've just made these marks, but in real life you don't need to make these marks. Well, this says base, because this is the base end of the balloon, and this is the apex. This is the tiny little uh, sort of 75-centimetre-ish uh, um, balloon, the smallest one. But this, the technique I'm about to show you applies exactly for the um, other, the CDAS-1, CDAS-2, and other larger balloons. It basically works for any balloon that's made out of an even number of gore panels. Okay, so I've uh, taken the pattern off and I've moved uh, most of the gauze to one side, but I've kept a pair out. So the first task is we're going to create, so this is a six panel balloon, um, as all the designs are, um, and we're going to make, the first job is to make three pairs of panels uh, and, and connect those together. So what I've done is I've got two panels here and the top panel I've pushed away from me slightly, so there's a 10 to 12 millimeter um, bit of the bottom one exposed. What we're going to do now is I'm going to grab my glue stick and I'm going to apply the glue. I'm going to apply it to the top panel and um, carefully pushing out. Now you've got to be careful to do it all sort of, I've put my hand here and I'm pulling away from my hand. If you just sort of go like this, all the tissue kind of rips. So I'm not being particularly accurate, dolloping uh, some of the uh, Pritt stick on there. Other glues are available, I should say. Uh, and the same up this way. Um, getting it all lumpy, of course, because we're shooting a bit of video um, and everything goes wrong. So, um, yeah, uh, squidging it up there. This is a very quick and dirty kind of example of doing this. Uh, make sure you've got some glue at all points. And then I'm going to carefully fold over the bottom panel over the top um, and press it down to make a seal. And I'm going to do that all the way along. You'll get some little crinkles in it because that's the nature of it. Um, don't worry too much about those, but press them all the way along. Okay, so we've now got our three pairs um, of gauze together. So what I've done is I'm just um, I've just stacked them up on top of each other. I've got to be a bit careful because the glue is still slightly wet because uh, this is just a, a quick and dirty example for the video. So what, I, what I've done is if I stack them all up on top of each other, and I stack them up so they're still base this end and apex that end. But the next move that we're going to do, when they're not sticking together, is we're going to flip the entire stack horizontally. So now we have the base at this end. <laughs> Change the labels over. And we have the apex at this end. Okay, now the next bit we're going to do is we're going to take what is now the most upper single sheet. So one half of the upper pair, the top half. And we're just going to fold that back out of the way like we're folding it in half. So that's just the top layer. Don't have to be accurate. Okay, then we're going to grab the top pair completely. And we're going to pull that over until we can see the gap. And this now, this, this is going to be the seam. And that is the upper half of the second pair down in the pile, if that makes sense. So I'm going to put glue on the lower half of the top pair and I'm going to fold the upper half of the second pair over to create the seam this way. So um, we've just folded that over and we've created our first seam uh, on this side. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same again, but now these two are attached, we're going to fold this over just to get it out of the way. So now what we're looking at, this piece, is the bottom half of the second pair. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to pull all the top bits back. Um, oh, they've stuck together slightly, which is a bit of a pain. But we're going to pull uh, that sheet back until we see the uh, top sheet of the bottom pair, which we are going to create a seam by folding over. So there we go. We've just made, uh, albeit not the tidiest seam, but... Um, so now all we've got underneath here is the very last half, so a single sheet of tissue that's the very last half. What we're going to do to create, to sort of seal this now, is we're going to fold this out of the way again, and then we've got to go back through our pile to get to the very, very first um, edge that should still be um, un, un kind of glued. And then we need to bring that over the pile of all the other seams and lay it with everything else tucked inside um, at our 12 millimeter ish gap back from that very bottom sheet. So hopefully you can see, just check the camera. Yeah, there we go. So it's brought all the way over the top onto that sheet. We're gonna glue here, fold this over, and then all your seams will be orientated uh, with the same, you know, uh, over the top of each other in exactly the same way. So there we go, we pulled that last seam uh, over and sealed it, again pretty badly, um, but this is just a, a test example. Um, don't worry about the top being a little bit of a mess, on all the designs they have some kind of closure for the top. Um, but you should be able to see now, as you kind of open it up, that all your joints, no matter how messy they are, all the joints are exactly the same way, with the same orientation, so it all opens up neatly. And you don't get any bits that look like they're kind of inside out when you open up your balloon. Okay, um, yeah, check out the Hackspace magazine for the full tutorial and the plans for the big, massive whopper ones. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching.